Hey, welcome to Gracie Sports Wild. I'm here with Eric Mete, and we're going to continue on with our Gracie Jiu-Jitsu self-defense course. And we're going to move even deeper into the headlock timeline. So again, uh, there's standing headlocks and ground headlocks. The standing headlock, the longer I can keep my posture, the easier the escapes are. Once my posture gets broken, things get much more difficult for me. So first, we dealt with, I don't even let him get an arm around the head. He gets an arm around the head, I don't let him lock his hands. But now, I was asleep on the job, he got in and he locked his hands. The danger now is what? Me getting pulled down, right? So more than ever, it's important I secure the hip, I'm sideways to him like a T, not behind him, okay? I'm securing this arm, no thumb at the forearm, the wrist, my other hand is holding his body. I'm looking right at the top of his head, I'm not looking this way, I'm not looking down. I hold this so if he decides to let go and try to punch, here, so I'm not like this. Here. And my hips are in. If he tries to pull me down, here. Again, notice I'm this way, push your hips in. Yep. But I'm this way, try to push your hips and break my posture. Or drive your hips this way. This is not going to happen. I have a slight bend in my knees, good base. This is where you'll probably get stuck moving around. He'll be trying to sling you around. Here. Don't lean back, because then he takes me this way. I'm just getting good posture, hips. Okay, so now. The way we break a clinch, and this is a clinch, is often we stretch the clinch, okay, and then we put strain on where the hold is, where the lock is, right? And we often do that with frames, right? So um, if I try to grab around you and you frame on me, here, and even if I lock my hands and you move away as you frame, I can't. Right? But if I have a tight clinch like this, it's much harder, right? So you use the frames and the movement or angles to strain that hold. That's all we're going to do here. So he gets here. I don't do anything. I'm not up here messing around until what? Until you have your base. Right? Now, what I'll generally do is if he's still moving me around, I don't, I don't bother with the escape. When I feel him pause for a second, maybe to catch his breath or to figure out what to do next, then I escape. But I don't want to be moving around trying to keep my balance and escape. Okay, so I come in, I catch, I'm moving around. When I feel him stop here, this arm from behind, I'm going to let go of the hip for a second. I got to be ready if he moves, maybe to go back. Okay, so I bring my hand under or around his shoulder, the rear hand, and I cup under the jaw. Really important, I like to take my pinky put it right under his lip. I don't want my hands in front of him where he could potentially bite my hands. Okay. Now, people are strong in how many directions? One at a time. One at a time. So I'm not trying to push like this. He resists. It's not going to happen. I take the chin. And I lift him up first. And then I stretch as far as I can. Now you'll see he can still hold, especially if he's got long arms or he's very strong. We've made him weak in two directions. But now we're going to put the real strength in, okay? What did I say about the body hierarchy? Arms are weaker than legs, legs weaker than back. So now I'm going to use my back. Notice I was keeping this T before because I didn't want him pushing his hips into me. But what about when I push my hips into you? Okay, so I'm going to go to that position but under my own timing and use the same, uh, same principle just in reverse. So I'm here. I make the frame first, I'm pushing as much strain as I can. Now watch, I'm gonna turn my body in, throw my right hip in. This does two things. Right now, that's as far as I can stretch. Okay, when I turn my body and I turn my hip, look how much further I can stretch. As well as, it puts a lot of strain on that arm. It's a lot like this motion. I come in, I secure, go under, lift first, turn, I go as far as I can, step my leg back, throw my right hook. Here, look at my head, it's still up. How's his posture? His posture is all kinds of compromise, mine is not. All I'm gonna do is drop my level a little, little bit, slip my head out, push his hip, get away. Again, these are escapes. I'm not trying to counterattack in anything. Don't say, oh, well, I, now I can throw a left hook. I can do this. 
The whole goal is to get away from the encounter. Okay, so I'm here. Let's do, actually do this side. I catch him in the headlock. First thing, go back. Exactly right. Always get to the proper position. The instinct, a lot of times, is to maybe bring your hands up, start pushing the face, things like this. Now, you're here. First, you've got to stop him compromising your posture. You already lost the battle of one arm, two arm. So now you've got to make sure you don't compromise the posture and that he can't step back to here. So he's secure. He's got good, exactly sideways positioning. He's looking right at the top of my head. Okay, he locks the hip. When he's ready, we moved around. I pause for a second. He comes under. Now he's not pushing my head this way. He's lifting. Now he's stretching his arm away as far as he can. Once he does that, he steps, he throws that hook. Good. Okay. So when you break this hook, yep, just like before, just like he did, you lower your level, push the hip, slip out. One more time, we're here. I catch him in a headlock. Very good. <laughs> <laughs> here, okay. Reminds me when I bounced, we used to call it the, uh, the white boy headlock, where you get two guys fighting, grab me in a headlock, and they're both, the go bro, the go, the go bro. <laughs> um, it was enjoyable to watch because you knew when it came time to bounce those guys, it wasn't gonna be a problem at all. Uh, anyway. Absolutely vital. Um, once you lose your posture, think about it like a triangle. Again, I try to relate this because BJJ people, are, they're so aware of triangles, they're not aware of headlocks. How much more difficult it is to escape when they get your posture broken down in a triangle? Way more difficult. Same thing in the headlock, right? I guess start, guy starts going for a triangle, that's gotta be my instinct. I gotta make it so hard for him to pull me down. He goes for a headlock, pull me down, look, pull. Here. So don't practice. I guess I'll try to, it's not gonna work at all from there. Okay, so absolutely vital. Please practice this as much as you do any technique in jujitsu.